Shalom. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's get back into the Word of God. Happy Sabbath to everybody. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 2, beginning at verse 1, all the way down to verse 22. Ephesians chapter 2. You got your Bibles? All right, let's begin. Verse 1. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins. The Apostle Paul, who is a disciple of Jesus Christ, is ministering to the Ephesians. The Apostle Paul is a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. He's ministering to the Ephesians who are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the ten tribes of the northern kingdom that are scattered among the Gentiles. Uh, the Lord called Paul to minister and to preach to Gentiles who are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the ten tribes that are scattered among the Gentiles. He didn't call them to preach to the Gentiles, the Japhet Gentiles, everybody else in the whole wide world but the Gentiles of Israel. They, don't, they are not referred to anymore, any longer as Israel or Ephraim because they sinned against the Lord, and now they are referred to as Gentiles. Uh, when Solomon was king over Israel, he had sinned against the Lord. The Lord divided the kingdom into two separate kingdoms. Northern kingdom of ten tribes and the southern kingdom of two tribes. The southern kingdom was Judah and Benjamin, called Judah or Jews. And the northern kingdom was called Ephraim or Israel. But when they sinned against the Lord, the northern kingdom was no longer referred to as Ephraim or Israel. It was only referred to as Gentiles or uncircumcised or heathens or whatever location that they were living in, in this case, Ephesians. And so that's who the Apostle Paul is ministering to. The Gentiles are referenced in Genesis chapter 10, verse 5, the Japhet Gentiles. Noah had three sons, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japhet. Japhet is the only one listed as Gentiles. Shem is not listed as Gentile, nor is Ham. Only Japhet is listed as having Gentiles. Go back, reread, and research the scriptures. So that's who the Apostle Paul is ministering to uh, in Ephesus. They are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, the northern kingdom of the ten tribes of Israel that are scattered abroad in Ephesus. No longer referred to as Israel or Ephraim, but referred to as Gentiles or what location that they're living. So he said, and you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. So he said, you, who's the you? I just told you. It's the northern kingdom of the ten tribes of Israel that are scattered abroad in Ephesus. But he quickened all of Israel, not just them, but even Judah, the southern kingdom of Israel. Jesus, by his death and resurrection, uh, being raised again on the third day, he quickened all of Israel that was dead in sin. But he's ministering specifically to the, tor the, ten, the, the ten tribes of the northern kingdom that are scattered that's who he was called to minister to. So he's saying unto them, you, again the northern kingdom, the ten tribes that were scattered of Israel you had the quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. They had sinned against the Lord. They were no longer even referred to as Israel. So they were dead in trespasses and sin. Verse 2. Where